As we all know, cell phones come in many sizes and shapes. We also know they are consistently changing. Some are very durable and some are quite fragile. Our goal in this program is to show you how to make a style of case that will adapt to any phone, it will have a perfect fit, be very protective, easy to make, and easy to use. Let's take a moment to look at uh, several styles of phones. Here's one that's a pretty standard flip phone, and you'll notice that it uh, fits in there real nicely. And this one has a, a uh, what we call a sand bound post closure. It's uh, very easy to take on and off, and it's also not liable to damage the phone. This one has also a clip on the back. Here's one for a little larger flip phone. Uh, please notice that I've made out of heavy leather a uh, replica of the phone in its thickness and the size, and I use that as a model to make case. This is uh, important if you're making uh, several cases, and you notice it fits in there very nicely. It's got a tuck closure so that if there's anything fragile on the front of the phone, we will not damage it. This one also has a steel clip on the back. Here's one that does not have a closer on the top, but it has a belt loop that we've just taken what would normally be the closer, folded it back and stitched it to create a belt loop. And this was also for the, I'll call it a medium sized flip phone, and it slips in there. It's nice and snug and it will still come out very easily. Here's one that's uh, for a larger phone, probably like for an iPad or a Blackberry. Uh, in this case, uh, we've also made a sample of the, of the phone. And this one's made out of a little heavier leather and it's a little more durable for somebody who works outside and uh, where the phone would need more protection. This one may also have a loop on the back for the belt that has been stitched on. We could also use, if we wanted, we could use a metal clip on the back of this one. Let's start with the, uh, to make a case for a popular size of the flip phone. Uh, first thing we'll have to do is take a piece of uh, card stock or heavy paper. In this case, I'll fold it in half so that I have a crease. We'll use this as a basis for our design. Now, if you want, you can take a ruler and uh, draw a line right where the crease is. And this will help in making your design. Now we will lay our phone centered on the line, as you can see, leaving enough room at the bottom. Now we'll take a pencil and we will draw around this shape. If you're only making one, you'll probably use the phone itself. Or if you're making multiples, it's a good idea to make one of these models out of heavy leather or wood. The next thing we need to do is make allowance for the thickness. In this case, it's a half inch. Now we're going to make a front and back, so the thickness we are concerned with is about a quarter of an inch. Now to that quarter of an inch, we'll have to add a, uh, an eighth of an inch for the fold and another eighth of an inch for the stitch line. So we basically need to add a half inch to both sides. And now, we will measure the distance in from the edge, and it's about three, or about one, two and a half, two and five eighths, so we'll come up here and make a mark at one, two and five eighths. Now, we will draw a line that 
whole distance. We'll do the same thing now on the other side. And now we will do the same thing to the bottom. We will add a half inch. And we will draw a line across the bottom. Now at this time, we will take our pencil and draw an arc at the bottom as you see me doing here. You want you can use a template of some kind to do that now we'll only do that on one side the next thing we need to decide is how tall we want the front piece to be uh, normally it would uh, come up uh, three-fourths of the way we need to allow time space so we can grab a hold of the phone to pull it out so let's go about three quarters of a way. Make a mark. Measure that. We're up about uh, one, two, three and a half inches from the bottom. So let's make a mark there, three and a half. And we will then draw a line across there. That will be the top our front piece. Now, it's also a good idea to put a drop in here. So I'll just take my pencil and draw a drop that you see me doing here. Only on one side at this time. Now, uh, we will take our pencil and draw another arc going up, it comes from the edge into the edge of the foam. Now that's also a half inch, so I can make a mark up top and draw a line as you see. Now it's time to do some cutting. The cutting can be done with a knife, as you see me doing here. We'll cut out the outer edge there, and we'll cut out the outer edge of what I'm going to call, at this time, the flap. Then we will carefully cut this arc. And then we will cut the bottom. Now this time, we will fold our paper, as you see me doing here. We'll take a pencil, and we will mark, as you see there. I'll also take a shears and cut the curve on the bottom we will fold that over and draw that as well now we will take our knife and our straight edge and cut out the other side. And with the shears, we'll cut the other curve. Now at this point, we will put our 
model phone back in and we will design the flap. The flap will come over as you see and we can take it down as far as we want. This will depend somewhat on the kind of closure we're going to use. In this case I'm going to use the Sam Brown post so I will place my model phone and I will design the flap to come about here. Now I can take my pencil, draw any kind of a shape on there that I want. I like to do an arc as you see there. Now I will take my shears and I will cut that off. Fold it over, mark the other side, and cut that. And now we have the basic shape of our case. Uh, this part here, from here down, is the front, and the whole thing is the back and the flap.